Oh, you can really destroy like anything, anything. Did I solve this puzzle before I destroyed that? This is going to be fun, old man. Well, now I'm going to say it. The obliterator isn't worth the money. You know what? I get it. I'm getting a lot of experience, but I would like to see the game again. I can't even tell what it is I'm killing anymore. Not that it really matters. Step number one today, turn the volume down even further because mining rods are driving me insane. Then we're actually going to change our appearance. Not that there's anything wrong with the way I look, we're just not really coordinated. Turns out we have a lot of choices. Like, a lot of choices. Now this says fairy, but all I can think is butterfly. And you know what? There's so much going on on screen, I'm just going to leave it very basic. Now, how much time is this going to take? We're actually already a lot closer than I thought it would be. It's simply a matter of making as much electronics and fiberglass as we possibly can. Thanks to my minor automation, project yesterday, we're up to 854 bottled oil we can get. That turns into a lot of plastic, but still not enough. I'm definitely gonna borrow a robot to take care of that end of things. One thing I never seem to have enough of is sand, which I need for glass. Luckily, we can already make over 2,000 of them, and thanks to my little furnace setup from the other day, these are gonna be done really fast. But we can all agree that I'm a very busy person, so that's not fast enough for me. I have no idea how that works or how big that radius is, but that zone's very helpful for gathering sand. These definitely aren't too bad to build, and I understand they multiply the the effect. The radius isn't bad. It's really just a matter of deciding where to put these. I think I'm actually going to stack a row of them right here. That way I can shovel up all these islands right here again and again and again for maximum sand. Before we do anything, can we get our hands on any handy perks that might help this process? It's actually hard to say considering I don't really know what it is we're doing, so we'll get these. Then we're going to need to remove some of my hard-earned wood. That should do for now, hoping I can squeeze a lighthouse into that little gap. And we can. Perfect. All right, it's hard to see the radius, but it basically covers... Well, it doesn't really matter what it covers. That's where it's going. Now, anything mined in this area between the two lighthouses should yield extra, extra materials, which basically looks something like that. There's no way to actually tell, but I'm assuming it works. We can also be expanding the size of the islands, therefore more sand to mine. We can get 101 more ground spaces, and that's going to be tons of sand. And luckily, the market has things like 100 extra poop, 100 extra sand is waiting for me. I can already feel something going terribly wrong. My ideas never really work out that smoothly or efficiently, but this one so far seems pretty bulletproof. These still really don't cost anything at all to build, certainly less than whatever I was building the other day. Mining rods certainly add up very quick. The thing I don't like about lighthouses is you can't see past them. Look how big they are. Now, what was that other little thing we had? These are cheap enough to build. I believe these just automatically attack enemies. So, have at her. Yep, that seems to work pretty nicely. I'm just going to lay these on skeleton islands. There's not really any benefit to this right now. It's a little bit of extra experience and just kind of fun to watch. But when I want to kill skeletons, all I need to do is go like that. I might just add some of those ballistas down here just to keep the skeleton numbers down because the game at some point is going to start to slow down. These are so cheap to build that, like, how could I really resist? There's, I don't know, five or six. We'll just let those go. I really gotta remember to keep up on bottle production. It's one thing I keep forgetting to do. And thanks to Idiot Stick's second factory down here, we can get rolling on some other stuff. More electronics. Another eight. We're that much closer. You know what? I still want just one more of these over here on this side. Help clear those skeletons out of my way. Also, at least for now, before I start digging, I'm gonna drink one of the Lucky Potions, which helps me find rare items while I'm doing this, which includes plastic, which is very important. If I can be finding extra, extra plastic while I'm digging, well, we're just that much further ahead. Here we go. Extra, extra, extra materials. I'm seeing stacks of, like, Hundreds of things come up all at once. 259 stone, 260 sand. And I've only mined a little bit. Yeah, the lighthouses work great. All right, so now it's really just a matter of figuring out how many lighthouses I can squeeze in everywhere and the best way to mine it. I do need to add more land all around here to get those extra spots. Just like that, there's a little bit of extra mineable land, which turns into hundreds of thousands of sands over time. Before we let that potion run down too much more again, let's do some more digging and find what incredible amount of resources we're about to find. I'm starting to hate these lighthouses just for the fact you can't see past them. I'm trying to remove one single board and can't do it. And the sound of those mining rods just gets better and better and better as the hours pass. Already, we've actually got so much plastic that we can almost get enough electronics. Royal Steel is actually the limiting factor right now. So how many of these can we make right now? 102. With no doubt, Steel being the limiting factor of that. Luckily, we can make about 800 of those because that's all we did last time. And boy, that was so much fun that I've been crying myself to sleep ever since. Sand production seems up to par so far. I can already get another 3,000 glass and we're still going strong. 4,000 and 5,000. That's probably enough for now. Look at all the slimes. Why are there so many more today? And already enough for another 440 bottles. So it won't actually be that bad to get the obliterator at this point. And the overlap of all those lighthouses and everything is actually what's giving everything this red haze that feels really weird to look at. Look at the size of these stacks I'm digging up. We're getting 2,000 at a time, 500 at a time. This is too easy. Easy now. And you know what? Those ballistas I got, they're killing skeletons so fast that it's giving me unlimited energy because I get energy every time they get killed. And apparently I have whatever this guy wants. Oh good, thank you so much. I probably should have paid attention to what he wanted. I might have needed
needed that. You saved a life today, son. Well, I saved one, but I took a few others. Be proud of yourself and be proud of your poop. Oh, is that what you wanted? I'm okay with that. Complete every NPC quest. Don't, uh, don't tell anyone I did that. That's not really a thing of mine. And what skill do we possibly want this time? Someone before said bows and arrows are really overpowered and fun. No, 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 no. Every NPC quest is done. You don't get a request. Do you just drop stuff for me now? Nope, there we go. What's red and bad for your teeth? Lava? A brick. Not as bad as lava. Here, this one's on me. A brick? Well, to be fair, I would drop him in a volcano if I could right now. I think this is the point where I've officially broken the game, because I can just do whatever I want, gather so many resources that it's absurd. Look at how many are sitting on the ground. There's almost 300 leather that I just dug up. Look at that stack. There's 2,000 amethyst. And if I was reading that correctly, a billion, billion plastics. So thanks to those lighthouses and my digging, I now own 3,300 plastics. So the sand in the bottled oil doesn't really even matter anymore at this point. And we're getting ever closer to our goal. How many more electronics can we make right now? Still waiting on a lot of royal steel, but we're actually halfway with our other stuff suddenly, so great. Not sure where we're getting all that material from, but I'm not gonna ask questions. Yep, those lighthouses are way overpowered. Suddenly I can make 714 royal clothing, like just just because. I really wish there was a way to disable the radius thing though. It gets so annoying to play through a red haze all the time. But you know what, since we got five more minutes of my lucky potion, let's dig up a billion other things just because we can. The darker the area, the more material we're gonna get. I just dug up 2,000 plastic all at once. But you know what, while we're waiting for everything to do its thing, short bow. I think I can spare that though. I'm actually pretty close on the thread, which is surprising. Why do we not have billions and billions of threads right now? That was quick, probably thanks to the power plant. Shoots arrows from your inventory. Hold down to attack and draw and release to shoot. Okay. If I could find something to shoot that isn't already being obliterated, that would be fine. Oh, I'm out of arrows anyway. I guess I can pretend. What did I do with all my arrows? And more bombs. Iron is actually the limiting factor there. We need more iron. Hey, look. All structures work twice as fast. Production. I can't see anymore, but it's worth it. All right, that's pretty annoying. Skull bow. Iron, leather, bone. Got it. And we can actually just sit here and watch a countdown thanks to all those power plants. Arrows now burn the targets. Well, that sounds fun. What else we got? Crystal bow. Uh, yep, good enough. Arrows now freeze targets. Wait, so do they not burn anymore? Do they burn? Do they freeze? Do they do both? So many questions. How do we make arrows, by the way? Arrows are pretty straightforward. We'll worry about those after. Uh, fiberglass, royal steel. Yeah, that's all fine. I'm pretty sure I recreated those ingredients while I was using them to build this one. Arrows now explode on hit. So is that different than burning? Do they still freeze? I have a lot of questions. Well, here's some arrows. I don't even have a chance to play the game anymore. I just walk around and everything dies before I even get close to them. Oh, the blizzards got upgraded too. That's why everything's doing that. And I think they're also eating up my arrows as quick as I can make them. But that's fine. I even managed to level up thanks to everything going on. But I mean, look at everything going on. That sound. We've really got to do something about that sound. So much quieter. All right, what more can we do to be overpowered? Letting enemies drop coins? I really couldn't care less about money right now because it looks like I have 560,000 and nothing to buy with it anyway. What I did want to check while I was down here. All structures produce twice as fast. Instantly spawn a bunch of digging spots. Well, let's go for the double thing again. Look how close we are though. We own 89 electronics. So if we make another 11, that's enough then we just have to worry about fiberglass. And I really hope I've already got everything I need in the furnaces and everything because I'm not sorting through that right now. I forgot I still have an upgrade, the Tycoon Wallet. Uh, it does eat up some fiberglass. Everything else is fine. You know what? That's fine. That was quick. Oh, collect every accessory. I guess that was it. Coins are worth 150% more. I know it's a little bit hard to see right now, but we're going to collect our banks because, well, might as well. We're at 561,000, something like that. And after I think collecting all the banks, we're up to, I don't know what that number is anymore. Seven something, a million something. It just, it just doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm really just using the markets to buy stuff that I need for bundles. Another robot. How lucky. 42,000. Not sure. I can afford that. Now, I just collected some stuff. 50 milks? Where am I going to get 50 milks from? I guess I could bottle 50 cows and then this one's done. Well, this isn't going to be fun, but I'm going to go bottle a whole bunch of cows. Cows? How does this work? I can't even see what I'm doing anymore. Did that give me milk? That gave me milk. Here I am on the verge of the obliterator and I'm running around milking cows. Here I was thinking I was out of bottles. There's 1,500. Did you milk the same cow multiple times? That poor cow. I don't know if that's working or not. Now is the time and I'm not going to be able to find any cows. I am actually up to 34 milk, so I'm not sure if that's working. No, that's actually working. You can just milk the same cow continually. Well, that was about 4,000% less painful than I thought it was going to be. One milk, 50 milks. Farming bundle, let me guess, a spirit orb? Original. Actually surprisingly close, considering I haven't been trying that hard. Only seven more perks to go. So, um...
This is a thing. So if I go like this, eat a gem. That's a perk. 24 energy. It's just really expensive food. So cool. Resources drop double items. Well, that gives me an idea. Let's go shovel up some more crap. Don't forget lucky. Lucky is very important. All right. See if we're going to find any resources while we're doing this. Yeah, again, just stacks of thousands of whatever it is I'm digging up. No problem. The production of everything at this point is just absolutely absurd. Still can only make 25 fiberglass, though, which is going to bring us about halfway there. If we can make more royal clothing, though, we'll be all right. Well, there's a full stack. I'm not sure that's my quickest loom, whatever that's called. Oh, this one's going anyway with another full stack, so it's just the waiting game. Now, what do these cost? I don't have those things. For a spirit orb, though, I I only need two bottled berries. Uh, I'll get one to go, please. And one of you. There we go. Now, one of these. How long do these take? I just bottled two of them. Where'd they go? Did I not? Maybe I pressed the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Now I've got some. Uh, these seem to be showing up in absolute drove. So there, there's five. It was literally that easy. Now give me my magic cheater orb. Oh, it's done already. I was expecting there to be an announcement. That was level 60 and I've got an idea. I've noticed you can get this perk. Capitalism, gain XP when selling items. Well, guess what I have hundreds of thousands of. So... Currently, I'm about one third of the way up to level 61. If I sell, say, 10,000 cactuses, what does that do for me? Doesn't really move me very far. Probably earned some money doing that at the very least, but again, I just don't care. And what's going on with my hotbar? It's escaping off the screen. Look how close we are. Own 67, 29 to craft. That leaves us four short. But then again, it probably doesn't because we often get double items. Oh, plus is one I can buy. I wonder if I have a stack of anything valuable enough that I can just sell it and level up with. It looks like sand might be a candidate. 237,000 sand. And we started off with basically nothing. So currently we're just past the 60 and level 60. 237,000 sand. Yep, actually leveled me up. That basically gave me a full level just from sand. I could level up the rest of the way just mining sand. Oh, and I guess now we finally hit the millionaire mark. So great. I think the best way to utilize lighthouses would be to have them surrounding an island. That way they affect the area in between. Because once you get an area like that, there's just so many resources. It's ridiculous. After circling the lighthouses once, we're back up to 45,000 sand. What about 168,000 sand? Is that enough to level me up? Nope, but it's awfully, awfully close. Well, there was level 62. I was just kind of wandering around waiting. Might as well, just because we can. Allows cauldrons to morph steel into gems. Now that the factory is freed up again, do we have enough? We do have enough. One obliterator coming up and I'm going to sit here and wait. There it is. Use it to destroy anything. I can think of an old person who's going to be the test subject. And it looks like this. Oh, it even destroys the ground. So more lighthouses potentially. Oh, you can really destroy like anything, anything. Except for this. Did I solve this puzzle before I destroyed that? It doesn't matter. This is going to be fun, old man. Well, now I'm going to say it, the obliterator isn't worth the money. Hey, that's a nice factory you got. It'd be shame if someone obliterated it. All right, this thing's not bad. You kind of got to be careful how you use the obliterator, though. You'll be destroying something and then destroy the ground under it, too, like that. And it works really fast. What did this thing do again? Lose one max heart, permanently increase max damage by one. Great. That'll help me destroy it. Someone like me should never have an item this powerful ever. Well, since we now have the power to do so, and I need to do something constructive with this obliterator rather than destructive, we're going to place a few more lighthouses. And if I'm understanding these correctly, how they work, every lighthouse boosts things by 50%. So one more lighthouse will boost 50% even further than now, and one more, 50% more from that. So one there and one there. I wonder if one there would reach over. It probably would if we put one there. We're going to do that. You know what? We might even put a few. There we go. I don't know. That's 10, 12 lighthouses. And we've still got our lucky stuff going on. So let's kind of see what we can get out of this. Keep in mind, currently, we have no sand on us. All I'm going to do is shovel around, uh, make one pass essentially inside and out of the lighthouses. And we're going to see how many materials we get out of that. In particular, the sand, because that seems to be what we get the most of. And I can use it to level up. And we'll work our way back again a little bit. This isn't the best radius up here, but it's still pretty good. Gotta take advantage of those lighthouses all we can. I think I mostly grabbed all of it. It's really hard to see, but how many do we have? 936,000 sand. We just got 1 million sand from that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other stuff that we really didn't need at this point. So there we go. That was two levels. We're almost max level, basically thanks to just that. And I think we're up to 5.4 million gold. All right, Obliterator, get to work. I like why he doesn't even drill with it. He just swings it. Whoops, I forgot about that. Yeah, this is why you shouldn't have an Obliterator. From this point, I could really only do more harm than good. 
since we're this close, we might as well. We're gonna drink one more luck potion, shovel one more time, and bring us up to max level. The only question now is, did we break a million on that circuit? Nope, considerably less. Still 550,000, which is more than enough to get us to level up, and that will get us all the skills we need. I'm not actually sure if that's the max level, but that is the rest of the skills. And look how far we've come from the beginning. One of the very first perks you can unlock is economy. Instantly gain 40 coins. That's a lot of coins in the beginning. Learn every skill. You get a penguin as a reward. Okay, so what's next? 